Today we're working on our little uh, lawn cart here, a little wagon we use. And this is the one with the, the rubber style uh, bed on it. They still make them like this. They got different brands out there, but they're basically the same thing. Um, you know, same steering setup and uh, the way the, the bed fastens to the frame and all that. But we've had this one for a long time. A lot of years, we've used this at a lot of tractor shows. We've used this for a lot of yard work. You know, it's got a lot of wear and tear on it. Biggest problem we have with it is these are the original tires. You can see they are just shot, completely dry rotted and broken apart. I've had this thing for at least 10 years now. So it's no shame for them, but you know, the, the solution would be get new tires or at least try to put new tubes in there because they do come with tubes in them. Uh, you know, put new tubes in there, try to inflate these tires and get some more use out of them. But you do that, especially with these tires on there, the tube's going to end up getting pinched in there somewhere, or it's going to be easier for briars or something to go and poke right through these cracks in the, in the tire and go in there and puncture the tube. So it's just not going to work. And the price of a new tube, you know, you're looking like six, seven, maybe eight dollars just for a tube for one tire, for one wheel. We found a better solution to that, and that is these replacement wheels here that come already assembled and already inflated basically from uh, Harbor Freight, just ready to go. All you got to do is pop the cotter pin out of here, which you would just bend the leg straight on that, and then you can lift everything right off there and replace it with one of these wheel and tire combos from Harbor Freight. These here, we just got these on sale for uh, $4.99 this past weekend, so Compared to spending, you know, anywhere between six and eight dollars for one tube, this was a, a no-brainer here because it was much easier to do, it was cheaper, and we're gonna get a lot of years of use out of these things. So if you have one of these wagons, everything else is in good shape on it, and it's like ours where your tires are just completely done for. Here you go. This is a good solution for you. Then get out there to Harbor Freight, pick up some of these wheels, and uh, they have them in the white. They have them in. Uh, you know, a couple different variations, same size, same bearings and stuff you can put on there. We want these because they were actually a dollar cheaper than the other ones they had. So go figure. Um, <laughs> but now we're going to be able to swap all these on here and get our wagon back up and ready to use and be more reliable. All right, I mentioned the cotter pin there. You just have to straighten the legs out on that. If you're not familiar with them, uh, I think pretty much everybody's been around a cotter pin. But straighten the legs out on it and you can just pull it right through. Once you got everything straightened out and it's always recommended you replace these. We didn't pick any new ones up yet. We're going to get them tomorrow when we're at the local hardware store, but um, I'm not going to let that stop the procedure here. You know, we're going to get these new wheels on here. That's it right there. Pour everything off, put this one on, put your washer back on there. You can pick up new washers if you want your local hardware store, put your, uh, Put your cotter pin back in here like that and then bend the legs back around like the way they were before you took it out and that's the reason why we suggest you get new ones especially if they're as rusted up as ours are because um, they're old they're brittle and they're more likely to break when you go to bend the, the legs around on them so there we go we got that one in there and you just Take the one leg, bend it around, and the other leg, and bend it around. And that's it. Another wheel replaced. All right, we're all done. Got all our new wheels and tires on our wagon. If you're wondering, you know, 100 bucks for one of these things brand new, why are you putting any money into it? You know, 10 years old. That was 20 bucks. You know, <laughs> every 10 years, I got to put 20 bucks into this. It's not a bad deal at all. But the nice thing about these little wagons is that they're they're lightweight, they're not going to rust out, and they have this this lever up here, pull on this, and then you can just dump it right out. So pretty cool little setup. Uh, a lot of people buy these things and they just use them and abuse them. And you know this is something that the kids can use out there. We've used this, like I said, for a lot of tractor shows and stuff. Uh, we've towed this around behind the lawn tractor. When we had to haul stuff out from, uh, you know, flea markets and tractor shows and places like that where we bought stuff. You know, we've got a lot of use out of this thing. And uh, it's really cool because obviously you can leave it outside. 
Uh, it doesn't really affect it. I mean, this one's been outside its entire life. Screw heads are all rusted up and everything, but it's still holding up well. So that's it there. Just a little bit of money saving tip. You got the problem that ours has with the uh, rotted out tires. You can save yourself some money from buying new tires, new tubes and all that stuff. And just go out to Harbor Freight, buy the entire thing all ready to go. And uh, grab a couple cotter pins when you're out there. And that's it. You're back in action in no time. So thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel.